hello everyone welcome back to the channel so we are back again with a new video that is about the python is operator okay that is an identity operator in python okay now before starting with our codes uh i'm going to tell you about the is operator the how it works okay so basically the is operator works on how a object is save in the memory that is also known as object interning okay so python does that that python uses object interning to optimize memory for small or frequently used objects uh, like a small integers and sort strings this means that when the python means that python does not always create a new object each time for small values okay so for the small values python reference the value if the values are same for two different objects and they are a small integers or a small string so there will be uh, there will be no two objects will be created okay it one object that is created that will be referenced to the second one also okay now mark my word that for small integers and for small strings only okay now so if there is a larger object so then what will happen so if there is a larger object then uh, such as big integers or if it is a longer strings so then for in that case python creates a new object in the memory every time they are assigned okay so even if the values are same but they will be stored in, in two different objects okay so now uh, let's execute this first one comparison comparing small integers okay so now you will see when i've executed comparing small integers and i have a, a object which has integer 100 and b is also object which has 100 and i'm when i'm using print a is b so we are getting true okay because it this 100 is being referred as a small integer and this has been first installed in uh, store in a so now if the b has the same value so b is not going to take another space in our memory okay so this b object will also refer to this 100 only in the memory okay so that is called reference so this is done by the python that is the process is called as object interning okay now let's go to the second code that is comparing between large integers okay so now you will see i have again a and b and in a and b i have stored 300 and 300 now when i'll execute it so you will get false because now 300 is being referred as a large integer so because of that when i'm checking a is b inside the print function this is giving us false okay because a is being treated as a large integer and b has also the same value 300 but because 300 is treated as a large integer so they both a and b will take memory space okay so python is now this time object interning is not being used by python okay now what is the value how we can just that what value will be treated as small integers and what value will be treated as large integers mm -hmm. so for that uh the for small integers the value is from minus 5 to 256 so if i'll keep here 256 so till 256 it will give us true but when i'll change it to 257 so then it is going to give you false okay so this is after 257 or if it is less than minus 5 so it will be compared it will be taken as large integers okay now let's come to the third program that is comparing between strings okay so we have again a and b in both we have hello hello now let's just execute ourselves so we'll get true okay now when i'll so now this hello is being treated as a small string so because it's being treated as a small string so object interning is being used here by the python okay now if i'll just if i'll do like this okay I means i'm making it a big sentence and then i'll copy paste it over here so now you will see that now it is being treated as a large string so now the value is being changed to false okay so this is how python use memory optimization okay for the is operator then for the lists now for the list it will always take two different objects because lists are in 
आर डायनेमिक इन नेचर लेस डिक्शनरीज ओके दीज आर डायनेमिक इन नेचर सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे यूज मोर स्पेस सो दे आर दे गेट डिफरेंट मेमोरीज मीन्स इफ द वैल्यूज आर सेम ऑल्सो बट देन ऑल्सो दिस इज ऑपरेटर इज गोइंग टू गिव यू फॉल्स बिकॉज बोथ ए एंड बी इज बींग स्टोर इन डिफरेंट मेमोरी लोकेशन इन आवर ओके देन कंपेयरिंग बिटवीन टपल्स नाउ If the tuple is too large, as you can see, if I'll remove this one, two, three, I'll just keep it one, one. So then it will give you true, okay? Because tuples are not dynamic in nature. So for a small values of tuples, then it is going to give you true. But if I'll increase this, means if I'll give three elements, okay? So now it will give you false, okay? So object interning is being used here also, but it depends on the size of the tuple okay if it will increase then it will be stored into different location but if it is less then it will be referred to means then the b will be referred to if there is same value then they will be referred to one memory location okay so this is the how the ease operator works in python okay and how python uses memory optimization for the ease operator so i hope you like this video and you will find helpful okay and you will know the use of the is operator because most of the people get confused with the is operator and the equal equal operator okay so they both are different in the equal equal what happens if the values are same then it is going to give you true but in is if the memory location is same for the two objects then it is going to give you true okay so now i think you have get it so thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next video